think the game is ready to go and will it crash will it crash let's give it let's minute. hope not let's hope not and we are good to go and i'll throw it of course to toast talks for the play by play and now Gary Gamers with possession SQ who scored the equalizer in that previous game, a very very vital equalizer, sends it to the flank but unfortunately gets intercepted by Amir, I believe that was a player from um, Busby Babes, so uh, Ibrahimovic, uh, Ibrahimovic, <laughs> okay that, that, that's a bit of a mouthful there but unfortunately he gives the free kick away because I think he was offside, Shawal sends it to Tractility with SQ, ample space on that left flank sunny side up brings it in waiting for some backup in the 18 yard box but passes it back to shawa finds sq with amp trying to wiggle his way past the defense but currently malaysia or, or rather busby vfc still uh, a bit more cautious in the back four so shamir back to foster who sends it wide to brian Brian finds Ralph and gets intercepted by beat base but sends it along back to the opponent's defense oh sliding tackle by sunny side up and uh, the referee carries for, uh, carries on play but Uda Ukasha or Udasha saves the ball for team Busby VFC and, I, and I don't mean to cut in but you know you're looking at all the names and then after the right and the left backs for Busby VFC is Brian and Foster and then the rest <laughs> of them are all confusing us <laughs> yes. they are all their names all around but you know this is the thing about pro clubs you can make up your names any which way you mm -hmm. want to go and that's that's the best thing about it you can create your own player on the pitch and give nightmares to casters <laughs> all around the world in terms of the gameplay well back to you <laughs> that's true that's true so after the like about the 13 minute mark you know both teams still trying to find a way past their their own or rather their opponent's defensive line but to, to no avail so tractility for Gary Gamers finds beat base with ample amount of space Ryan tries to go for a shot but gets blocked by Brian and it's out Ryan for the by Brian yeah yep, <laughs> yep. and it's the very first corner for Gary Gamers who ooh. Okay, I thought that was a goal. I was ready to jump up for Rady Jerome. I was already there. I was already there in the air. And you know, it takes me a while to get down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. But I mean, so far, first half, very cautious by both teams. But Gary Game is definitely having a little bit more of the opportunities going forward. And an uh, inter interesting fact, Ryan, you know, who's playing in mm -hmm. the Gary Gamer side, he is actually a football player who played for Geelang International a couple seasons back. And uh, hopefully he'll make his comeback in to the Singapore Premier League sometime soon. Let's hope he does because we need those players in the field here to, to bring some entertainment to the Singapore local scene. But right now, it's sunny side up with the ball. Pent passes the ball to El Guaje and Tractility still trying to find their way past the, the defensive line playing much more in the left flank but gets intercepted by Shamir. Sunny side up gets the ball back for Gary Gamers. His beat base who finds SQ not able to capitalize on that opportunity but it's still... No, it's not. It's, it's no longer in the hands of GG Garrett Gamers. He's gone out for a, a free kick due but, to offside. Well, you can say SQ was grounded there. <laughs> oof, oof, oof. You're here for a long ride. Remember the tip your waitresses uh, all week. <laughs> Uh, but really, like the first few minutes, we've seen that Gary Game is really on top on the ball, uh, but they're yet to get through this uh, very stubborn Busby Babes defense. Reminds me of the game uh, between Singapore and Timor Leste in the AFF Suzuki Cup a couple days ago, mm -hmm. um, where it was very defensively stout by the um, Timor Leste side, but they did concede a goal within four minutes, so I, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> Yikes. But uh, they did hold on throughout the rest of the game and did very well to hold Singapore to two goals alone and uh, you know that's where we are in this position and throwing it back to you for the play-by-play -play. and would that be a prediction though on the on this on this scoreline mm. so we'll, we'll, we'll see we'll mm. see because it's still early early on in the game here as an in-swinging corner comes in to the 18 yard box but gets cleared by the goalkeeper and it's now sunny side up with options in the front the final third and unfortunately gives it away gives it cheaply away right Ibra Kekmovic I have to get that <laughs> Like memorize here Jerome as Baptist passes it back to Foster and it's now still in possession of Busby VFC's Shin Chan on to Ibra who gets uh, dispossessed by Patato I believe and uh, Ryan gives the ball away back to Shin Chan NRG 
does have options in the center of the field gets dispossessed beat base back in intercept uh, back in possession rather and unfortunately not finding its intended target but sunny side up working to get that ball back in it to the possession of gary gamers and tractility bringing it back sq might be trying to find some space tractility will find sq and ukasha Ooh. being called to action and that could have very well been the very first goal of the second game Jerome and what how important was that save for uh, Busby VFC well definitely very important as we entered this last seven minutes of the first half you know you definitely don't want to be going into half time a goal down you know um, that's always the most important time to score and the most important time not to concede a goal uh, but Gary Gamers might do that now Oh, what a ball into the 18-yard box, but doesn't reach its intended target. But it's still on the on the side of Gary Gamers to turn it around. Beat base in the center of the field. Trying to find some backup, but Baptist. Interception by Baptist. Backs to Shanwick. We'll find NRG. And I believe one of Busby's players looks to be injured. He is kind of limping. And it's Ibra. I believe their center forward here. Baptist tries to cross it in. But the catch catches the ball with ease, I have to say, Jerome. <laughs> yep, it was wonderful by the catch. Wonderful by the catch. As What a ball that is forward. And my goodness, nearly getting it through to SQ. And uh, that is half time right there. And it is still nil nil in first in the first half. Forty five minutes has passed, and I have to say, even though it's a KG game, it seems to be a much faster paced game compared to the very first game against Armored Dusic. Like both sides having a bit of a bit more of the opportunities compared to to the game in uh, versus Armored Dusic yep. in the very first half. So, what what do you think uh, is the key to unlock the, this KG affair, though? I I mean, for right now, I think the center for um, uh, for uh, Busby has been really cramped over so I think uh, they have been trying to play through the center there have been the couple shots that were taken by SQ that was able to get through um, but I believe more from the flank might be the way to get through this defense I'm not too sure uh, but there I mean you can take a look at the stats like what we saw just now you mm -hmm. can see it all in the favor of Garrett Gamers so they really want to try to get the front foot on this game because remember them and Amadusic level on points at the moment or I mean depending on how the game goes for Amadusic when they play the rest of the teams here in this one so really important for Garrett Gamers to make sure they get the goal or goals to try to put themselves above um, above Amadusic in the next one so we did see a confirmation that Ibra Kekmovic has been injured so that definitely is not a good sign for Busby VFC the centre forward being injured and I think you kind of hit the, the, the nail on the head there the ball has to come in through the flanks especially if the centre forward is injured as uh, Brian here muscling muscling the, the midfield player to regain back the ball but it's gone out for a Busby throw in alright and I mean this, this game right now is so evenly poised uh, that it's going to be quite nerve-wracking for the the GG the GG players, especially because they know what is at stake. They know what is on the line. Remember that only the top team in this group can go through. But what a pass there! And now Ryan on that right flank will try to find options into the 18-yard box. Passes it back to Shawal. Will try to go for the true ball here. Unfortunately, not able to get it through the stubborn uh, Busby defense. And you, like you mentioned early on in the first first half, it is a very stubborn defense here mm -hmm, that is for sure and they are doing their very best to make sure that this Gary Gamers team doesn't get through but they might do now and it's still Ryan on their right flank will have one play in the penalty box will try to find SQ tractility passes it back to beat base beat base trying to take a few touches too much and gets di uh, gets dispossessed <laughs> but it's now on the side of Busby babes can they go for the counter attack shower cutting that counter attack short and back to El Guaje and is this a, a score line that you are expecting uh, Jerome from from Gary Gamers and Busby especially after 60 minutes uh, definitely not I thought this was going to be a little bit more of an open contest I thought it was going to be more goals between uh, the two teams mostly 
in probably in the possession of Gary Gamers but you'll never know still 30 minutes of this game left to go remember the the more that it stays at nil nil the more anxious that they might become and uh, another opportunity there goes begging for Gary Gamers but sunny side up will be able to secure the ball but from a very very bad throw from Ukasha who tries to get it back and uh, trying to make do with, with the mistake there and sends it up into the center of the field tractility gains back the ball for Gary Gamers beat base will find I believe that is Ryan in the right flank and still passing it back to beat base Ryan trying to pry open this stubborn defense it's still Ryan with the ball for Gary Gamers but again and dipping his shoulders not able to get through the to the defense and now it's a counter attack on the side of Busby VFC NRG trying to wait for backup to arrive I think he just be a bit too fast here as the catch just keeping it level for both sides and we are slowly but surely counting down to the full 90 minutes Baptist for Busby sends it wide keeping it alive Xing Chan the referee waves play on but the catch finally gets the ball back for a free kick and what can Busby VFC do with this free kick they have not had a lot of the possession though but you know they, they are quite fast on the counter attack that that I must say and a ball goes begging here as the goal goes in and above this and I'm not sure why the catch had to punch the ball away though and unfortunately the defense was caught lacking as right now right now Busby in the lead by one goal to nil oh that is going to be massive Massively crucial. Amadusic must be celebrating right now back in Hong Kong because this is going to be a very big result, especially if Gary Gamers don't get the victory. Remember, only the top team in this group will go through, so it is imperative that Gary Gamers do come back into this game. If not, they are or they are close to being knocked out of this competition if this stays this way. NRG trying to force their way back in to the 18-yard box, but unfortunately the defense learning their mistake from that first goal and gets the ball back into their possession but it's now Ibra who seems to be having a renewed life and tries to go for a shot and gets another goal past the coach or rather the catch and Ibra Kakmovic has to be celebrating deep down inside he was injured in the first 45 but now he seems like he has a new lease of life it's 2-0 I'm quite surprised at the scoreline Jerome yep exactly and I just got word from our producer that 1-0 Amadusic won their game and uh, this is going to be big because now Garrett Gamers are now 2-0 behind and Amadusic will go 3 points ahead of Garrett Gamers in this one and uh, the permutations are clear if they don't win this game Amadusic might go all the way to the top of this group and go through to the round of 16 for the E Singer Cup 11 versus 11 Pro Clubs Tournament but with just 10 minutes left remaining Derek Gamers need to not only equalize but they need to go for the for for the win three goals in 10 minutes it's gonna be very very hard for them but right now it's still potato plays with the ball and trying to find their way back in to that final third El Guaje will find Shawal and clock is ticking down you can sense the desperation coming in from Gary Gamers Damn potato place nope, <laughs> <laughs> I just had to but oh man, I get I get I, I get singing when I'm nervous but oh my goodness what a ball that is and it's now NRG with the ball and again they have been very very uh, critical during the counter attack and, and that's where they, they are punishing Gary Gamers here uh, Gary Gamers they, they were uh, doing a lot of the offensive attacks but they, they are kind of lacking behind in uh, when trying to drop back out during the counter attack so Tractility will try to find SQ and Ryan will try to get one goal back and we have a game Jerome yep we do have a game we do have another three more minutes of this one but is it too little too late because they need to get the victory I mean a draw might be good enough to at least get that one point so that they don't lose three but oh it's a little bit of a woozy because I'm a deucech having won their third game is going to be quite quite tough for them right now especially if Amadusic go on form but Ryan now with the ball for Gary Gamers trying to puncture through into the 18 yard box tractility will find Ryan Ryan will score one more goal and we again 
Jerome, never say never. We are just one goal away from a victory for oh, and unfortunately the referee has had enough and will call for time. What a 90 minutes we've had. Got to give credit to to Gary Gamers for coming back. Got to credit Gary Gamers for coming back into this game, but they definitely lacked the concentration when it came to mm. that first uh, that first 80 minutes or so. You know, I mean that's that's got to be gutting for the Gary Gamers mm. side because um, as word came in from our producer um, a little bit during the game that Armadusic won their crucial game by one goal to nil, so they have. To, it's not in their hands anymore. Mm -hmm. Look at it. I mean, the control is in their hands. <laughs> um, the results are not in their hands anymore, basically, because you know, with Armadusic getting that win, Armadusic go on to ten points in this group. Garrett Gamers having drawn that game are now on eight points. You know, having won two and mm -hmm. drawn two already in this tournament. Remember, only the top one in these groups will go through. We start with sixty-four teams. We will end off with the final one this Sunday. So do stick around with us here. Myself and Toast Talks will be here all the way for the 11 versus 11 tournament. And we are so excited to bring it to you during this Singer Cup competition. We'll be right back as we bring in the next two teams. We'll be gone for a short break.